the little lag. Maybe I got to clean that up. All right, everybody. Welcome back to the Sooner or Later podcast. I'm your host, Joey Gavada, And for episode 110, we're reviewing Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. Directed by Helena Rain. Uh, a Regin? Rain? Regin? No, I'm going Regin. And screenplay by Sarah Delappy? Delape? The lap story, man, there's some motherfucking names on this list. I should have been looking at it. Story by Kristen Ropanian, uh, cinematography by Jasper Wolf, edited by Taylor Lee Levy and Julia Block, uh, music by Disaster Piece. Production companies are 2 a.m. and A24, distributed by A24 in North America and China. Stage six films and Sony Pictures releasing international with the re- with release dates of March 14, 2022 at South by Southwest and August 5, 2022 in the wider United States. Uh, and a runtime of 95 minutes. We weren't able to find the budget, but it has, as of 8-14-2022, made $3.6 million at the box office. Uh, Bodies, Bodies, Bodies has a 90% on Rotten Tomatoes with 144 critics reviews and 77% audience score with 100 plus verified ratings. And you're about to find out our spoiler-free... See, the oh, then... the critics' consensus for Day Shift. Yeah, <laughs> it didn't really matter. It didn't deserve it. I didn't really care enough for it to matter. All right, we're talking about bodies, though. Okay. Bodies, bodies, bodies. bodies. I'm really interested to see like what my cousin thinks about this, because like, this is her generation. Zoomers? Yeah, like... She could be one of those girls, I guess. Zoomer coomers? Assuming they're all like 20, the 25, 24. Um, or I guess when do you graduate college? When you're 22? T- 20, yeah. 22 is when you typically. Um, but, you yeah. know, if you do six years, you're going to, of course, graduate a little later. Uh, I like this movie a lot. This movie was really good. Um, the movie going experience was terrible, but I thought this movie was hilarious. I was cackling. Yeah, I was um, laughing my ass off. <laughs> the kills were really good. They were the perfect amount of gruesome. The storytelling was fine. Bro, I don't I know I'm a scaredy cat dude, but like the whole time, dude, I was legit tense. I was like fucking anxious. I was scared. I was like, oh my god, they're about to do something. Yeah, I was almost doing this, man. Oh no. <laughs> so I, I mean I was like, what's going on? <laughs> that's I then it did its job. Like Yeah, the, exactly. This movie was tension all over the fucking place which is really nice they do um, a good job of keeping you on your toes the whole movie which is interesting and i think that's its like biggest thing for it like you watch it and you're you're along for the ride like that's the best way to kind of put it um and i, I just think overall like the movie that they set out to make i think they made it and they made it well like a lot of times you watch a movie and it's like, oh, okay, I guess that's a movie they wanted to make, but it's done like poorly or they make poor choices. Like mm-hmm. throughout this whole movie, I was like, oh, okay, that's interesting. I see where they're coming from. And it's just like, I enjoyed every twist and turn. Yeah, I think it was kind of a, I guess, kind of a shit trailer because I like the movie better. But I guess it's also a good trailer because they didn't show the movie. Did you see a trailer for this movie? I don't even remember. I saw this trailer, trailer so many times, dude. I also seen it like, a lot. They play like almost every time I watched a movie. <laughs> I don't ever remember seeing a trailer, and I haven't gone back to see what the trailers were like, but yeah, I, I don't remember it at all. I seen the trailer so much that I was like, okay, I felt like you're trying to trick me out with this. Like, because oh, okay. it. Which I guess they being... did, right? Correct, yeah. Um, but I think honestly, like for the type of movie, I like, I didn't know what type of movie this was going to be like overall. Like I was like, okay, I know it's thriller, but like what, what story are they telling? And I think the story is like for, for like as simple as this movie is, I think it's so interesting. Yeah. Yeah, Cause there's the dialogue. Like they talk a lot about a lot of stuff. Like it's, it gets real deep and heavy. I I feel, but but they at the almost same do time, it jokingly. Yeah, I most say, of the time it's, it's almost like serious. a parody or sat- satirical. Yeah, which mm. is interesting because I don't know how old the writers are, or the writer. She doesn't have a Wikipedia page. Um, I'm not old. Yeah, not old enough. <laughs> um, I mean, I feel like it's very self-aware. The movie. Yeah, but uh, she's thir- she's thirty-two. Uh, this yeah, the original writer, but the screenplay writer. Did uh, you did you look up the screenplay? I, I, looked, up, I looked up the screenplay. Yeah. 
Sarah Delap. Oh, okay, okay. So I mean, she's even she's not a Zoomer though. No, she's she's a millennial. Um, and then the story by person is also a millennial. So I mean, you could argue that this is like a satirical like, look at what a Zoomer is like through the lens of a millennial. But and that's why I want to know like a younger person's opinion on this movie to see if they hate it or not. I guess. Based on the crowds yelling at my theater, and there were there were two girls in the back that looked to be roughly thirteen to fifteen, and they must have never seen a horror movie before because they were like, "Oh, why the fuck's this girl doing this?" And oh, I fucking hate this bitch. But like oh. the the way that they were talking about it, it seemed as though they were relating to the characters almost of like, a, "Oh, I know mm. this bitch." Yeah, I, I know. I know a bitch just like this bitch, and I hate this bitch. You know what I mean? So I mean, I mean, it, this, it seems to hit. This movie feels like like people that you would fucking see on TikTok. Like I think it does. Like I think that's what it's trying to do too. I mean, yeah, I also thought yeah. the dialogue was super realistic. Like, like the characters themselves, I thought were super realistic. You don't think there were some things where it was like, okay. This is a little too much. Y'all are maybe being a little too meta here. Just a little bit. They're they're a little too self aware. Dude, I love meta though. Yeah. I yeah. But I thought like people my thing is <laughs> I think they they were trying to. Now it depends on whether or not like it depends, I may per, be perceiving it wrong, but I thought everything was done on purpose. So I'm like, oh I like that. But I don't know if I mean, yeah, maybe it is just those you know, a different generation is speaking differently, but like are younger people that self-aware? I feel like not most of the I think, time. I think college I, educated, maybe. <laughs> but were they all college educated? I mean, they're oh, all rich and went to like like good. You know, they went to like expensive yeah, but that doesn't schools. mean they're smart. Yeah, good schools. They're clearly yeah. all I guess scum true, fuck yeah. bastards, though. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> who's to may, say that they were actually doing well in school? But they may think they're that aware and that you know that I mean, each of them think they're the shit yeah yeah maybe i don't know if and I, I have to go look at the names uh oh, great there's no fucking picture so i don't know who the fuck is so they got amanda steinberg as sophie she's like so, the biggest person right because she's, she's rude i mean you could argue that uh skeet is the biggest person he's but, not dude, yes, get he out is. of here Dude, she's an actually actress. Skeech pops up in things, all right? I mean, he was only in the longest running comedy show of all time. He was a, oh, a, a pretty big writer. No one respects no. SNL anymore. That's not true. You're fucking crazy if you think that. People I mean, are, no one watches SNL. Dude, celebrities don't it. watch this shit. No, I, no, Zoomers maybe, but Zoomers aren't the biggest audience. You know what I mean? Especially not right not now. Not yet. No. no, no shit, not yet, but that's because boomers <laughs> are still alive, homie. <laughs> like, um, they love CBS, boomers. I mean, but Pete Davidson is, I think, putting more people in seats than fucking um, Amanda Sternberg. I agree. People are going to see for Pete Davidson. I had never heard of anybody in this movie yeah. other than Skeet. How many of you, did you guys go see the King of Staten Island where he was featuring he was a star? No. That has nothing to do with this movie in particular, though. He doesn't put people in seats, is what I'm saying. I would have said, but, but more and he so than it. anybody else in this movie is what we said. See, I don't and, think so, though. I think like but, what she was in, like the hate who, they give us. I think it's a bigger movie. Who? What? I don't even know what the fuck that movie what is. is. That? <laughs> yeah, no, I think it's actually a really good movie. But just because you've seen it doesn't mean that it's like a widely known thing. It it could be a sleeper hit, sure. But I think like on a per name basis, he's definitely the biggest name in this movie, without a doubt. Just because yeah, he 100%. he's in front of more eyes than anybody else. Because he's on SNL, and sure, you think nobody Dude, watches he, it, but he if nobody dated Kim watches Kardashian, it... Kim Kardashian, man. Of he, course yeah. people are going to know who he's the in, fuck he is. He's in tabloids and shit like that. He's on Keeping Up With The Kardashians. His name is the biggest name on this list. Without all, the, a, yeah. all the yay fans... Just because yeah. people know him does not mean they go to see him in the movie, though. You're not but going to I, see him. But I said he's the biggest name on this list. He's most likely than anybody else out of the cast to bring in an audience because he's the biggest name on the list. That's just how that's how name recognition works. Yeah, sure, but I do think like she's the, I'm telling you, 
the I, reason I would have no saw She's King not. of King of Staten Island is because Bill Burr was in it. Yeah, and I mean Bill Burr sells more tickets. I'm sure he would sell more tickets than a skeet for sure, just because yeah. he's a more likable actor and a more likable comedian. But like out of everybody here, he's the person that more people know the name of, without a doubt. I don't really know how we can figure that out, but agree I mean, to disagree. This was to us three, I guess. <laughs> no, I I mean because who the fuck you're the only person that I think even knew this person out of the three of us. I, I mean, all of the actors in this movie other than him are no-name actors to me. I guess Lee Pace was a Ronan the Accuser in Captain Marvel. Yeah, he Didn't was fucking... That. He was covered in Mako. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I didn't know that. He's a great actor. He was great in this movie. I think everybody played their part really well in this movie, yeah. though. Uh, oh, I actually like want to see him more now. Nobody did a bad job at all. Um, but I, I mean, there are a couple complaints for me in this movie, and I think the editing is the biggest one. Like, there's multiple times, and maybe it's like used to create suspense, but there's multiple times where there's like a cut that happens, and I don't know where anybody's at or why they're there. And it's like, am I supposed to be able to follow them or not? Dude, dude, there was like, one one part of that movie where I was just like, what? Oh, I gotta fucking do this. Hold on. Um. All right. Well, really quick. Everybody should go see this movie, probably, right? Yeah, I think it's fantastic. Yeah, I agree with yeah, that. It's a really good movie. Um. How long was this movie? It's like an hour and a half. It's super short. Okay. In the totally meantime, uh, you can go ahead and click in the right hand corner to see our spoiler full review of Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. Uh, thanks for joining us for the spoiler free version, and we love you guys. Bye.